Hi everyone, I'm Captain Chris Newport and I'm going to show you how we fillet our gag grouper to get the pin bones out when you're filleting the fish. It's a little bit more efficient and it's the way I like to do it with gag grouper. So we're going to show you here, got a nice fresh gag grouper. We go in, just like in my other video, slice right up to the head, start at the tail, go in, go all the way up. Okay, it's just the same as playing any other fish, except for when you get to the rib cage, you're going to just do a little bit different. So go over the top, and when I get to the rib cage here, I'm just going to roll the fillet back. And I'm going to go right up the pin bone. See, if you grab here and you lift with your thumb, you can go. And you can ride right up the pin bones, all the way to the, the white flesh. And what you do is you insert your knife behind the pin bones and you pop up the other side. Now there's your pin bones there. We're just going to go right down the other side of the rib cage, nice and easy, just like this. And there's your fillet. You come in here, you can see that there's, there's no pin bones left in there. They're all right here. There's your, there's your six pin bones right there. We're going to do the other side, I'll show you again. On this side it's a little bit different once you get to the, the rib cage because you're coming from the other side. And then at the base of the tail, ride the backbone all the way up. Get this back tail quarter done. Okay, now start rolling your fillet up. Okay, riding along the pin bones all the way up. Once you get to the skin, you know you've made it far enough. Okay. There they are, right there. You can see them. So I'm going to come in the back. Just tilt my knife forward. Be careful of your arm. Okay. Now I'm just going to ride down the other side. Close it up. Slice it off. There it is. All the pin bones are out. They're all sitting right here on the fish still. Perfectly done. That's how I like to do the gag grouper pin bone out.